M0FXB, welcome to my channel. ATS120D, formerly known as the ATS120 HF receiver and broadcast receiver with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It does have an extendable antenna, you can see here. It's about one and a half feet long. Not great unless you're in a very good location, but what I've done for now is at the bottom here, you can use a 3.5 connector and you can get a BNC adapter for this. And I've just connected it to my wire antenna, which is a long wire with a 49 to one balance. And we're receiving FT8 live, as you can see. And sometimes I've noticed the, the text that you can see goes green. And I'm sure that does mean something. Maybe they're in range. I don't know. It, it, it does go green sometimes. So it works well and it doesn't have to be a FT8 receiver. You can exit and we can receive normal HF. Let's put it on to say handbands, 40 meters. And we're now on 40 meters. We can choose our mode, LSB. We're now on LSB. Not too much activity. We can use a stylus, it's all touch screen. But whilst we're here, we've got step, 10 kilohertz for now, bandwidth, volume. There is a volume knob here. If you press it once, you get volume. Press again, channel change. Tap the screen if you want larger increments as well. Probably easier with, let's see if we can find some activity. Going a bit too fast there. Get some volume. You can see the modes are at the top. You've got AGC. The BFO is like a fine tuning. You can fine tune. Tap that again. Hand bands, of course there's broadcast bands. Attenuation, if we type, tap frequency, we can just type a frequency. Like so, click OK, and we're there. Select our mode, saw that before. Now I'm gonna put this in a stand, so which I've got here, and I'm gonna see if I can view it sideways. We'll do that in a second. Uh, bandwidth frequency, yeah, we've looked at the mute button there as well. And if you tap this, look, you can have the spectrum style display. Tap again. Signal meter, and it's a good signal meter in my opinion, it works. Tap again. You get the waterfall. Okay, we need some activity. Try again another time, I'm just gonna show you the functions. Battery showing here, look. Volts, if you tap it, it changes to volts. I think that's Wi-Fi. I mean, it has got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Look, there's Bluetooth there. Bluetooth, see that? I've not used it yet, but it has got Bluetooth. Wi-Fi, let's go next. Menu number two, so you can scan up and down and it does do normal broadcast. It's got CB. And the CB isn't just LSB. Tap here. USB. So if you've got the right antenna connected, it works great. And it actually looks great. AM. 1919 for a breaker. We've all done CB. Let's face facts. Right. Okay, what else? Retro style. And all bands, of course. It's more of a, it's like a, you've got this thing here, city, where you can actually select cities, the earth. <laughs> okay, and you let's have a little volume, band. Choose a band that you'd like to listen to. You know, I, I tend to listen to Radio 1, and it, there is a search as well. Let's exit that. Everything there, retro light, I think that's the, just the dimming of the screen, isn't it? There's your scan. 
and it will scan across whichever band you're in. I haven't used it yet. Oh, do you see that? There was one there for um, that actually said SWR. Oh, I know, SNR, silly me. So play around with that. What else we got? Uh, da, da, da. We'll go set up. Now this is where we can change the orientation plus other items. FM star RDS. It's got that thing where it will show you the information of the channel. You know, if you're on a radio channel, it will say to you, oh, you're on BBC One. It does that. Uh, there's your Wi-Fi settings. It will search. This is how we activated it in the end, just using Wi-Fi. All my Wi-Fi is there. Exit. Next. Frequency digit backlight. Highlight the frequency in SSB. 24 hour clock. Go next. Battery saver. Audio spectrum I've turned on. Retro S meter. Should we just turn it on, see what that looks like? Then we'll go next. You do have to save your settings at the end. Screen saver. Display light off in screen saver. Not sure what that means. I'll leave that alone. Wait time to server. Screen orientation. Right. So we've got 180, 270. Now we want... Do we want 90 or 180? I think 90, I think. Soon find out. And then when you get to the end. Battery indicator. You have to say HF antenna input impedance. That's clever, isn't it? LNA. And you can connect this to see because it actually gives out a serial connection. And you can actually do that. Automatic antenna switching. Not sure what that's used for. CW digital decode, yeah, decode, data, send to COM port, that's the one. So if you turn that on, then it sends it through the, I'm pretty sure it's a USB cable, and then you can decode and watch it on your computer. So what was that? Field, hail, picture, smoothing, okay. There's your Bluetooth, let's turn it on just for fun. Uh, wireless is on, access point mode, so access point, that's an interesting one. What it will do for us. It's off at the moment. Internet access watchdog timer. So will it share it once it's connected to the Wi-Fi? Will it act as an access point and we can use it as it for Wi-Fi? Restore configuration save and reset to factory defaults. Next. And then we can update. And there's a release key with the Arduino software. So if we click save, yes. And it looks like we did select the right orientation. So what I'll do now is grab my my little pad here, a little stand. Put it on my stand, just so you know, there is a base station model exactly the same. Now this is an older one, but there's the new one out that is exactly the same. It's got the extra bits inside it. Uh, that enable you to do exactly the same, all the FT8 stuff. So you pay a bit extra, you get all those extra those functions. I think it's worth it myself. Uh, so let's exit. Right, this is the way I like it. So let's try and get back to decoding. Remember we were tapping screen. So we go back to decoding FT8. So we'll go back. Hanban. 40. We've still got our antenna connected. We'll then go to, we'll select the frequency. So we're in the faster mode because we've got the little yellow thing there. Now it might set it for you automatically. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to go to 7074. We'll go near and then we'll test it. We'll come back because we want to know really, don't we, if it does it for you automatically so mode digi now in the settings we've already told it to you know to to do this when we go into digital mode if you turn that off then it won't then we'll just go to ft8 
Yeah, and it's kept the frequency 7089. So let's tap the screen again. And then we'll tap here. Now we and then we'll just wait. It does say digi mode. 40 meters. Let's get my antenna back in there. Now I'm cheating at the bottom here. There's a, a 3.5 jack that acts as your antenna, which is fine. Um, and all I've done is put a patch lead in like this, and I plug the other end into into this, into the, yeah, and and watch. And it's a bit fiddly. I, I'm gonna. I've got a proper adapter coming, but for now, it does work. Let's get the volume up so we can, if we don't want to mess around with the knob, we can just tap, tap here. Sorry. I think either way we have to turn the knob, so. <laughs> okay. And it, start, it will start to populate now. Not sure what to do with the AGC, whether it's better on or off. And I don't really know what scroll means. So let's leave it off for now. So that's quite a long video. It's a nice looking device. The battery lasts for ages. You can change the orientation. You saw that, that you can change the orientation. Now look, see the way it's... you got to be... I meant this would happen to me earlier. Yeah, you've got to be patient with the FT8. Now if you're holding it long ways, I think you are going to see more information here. I'm going to tap scroll. Does that mean, is that to do with this? No, that is populated and I notice some of them go green. I wonder if we can actually change the, what we're looking at here. No. See the Wi-Fi. And the, apparently the Wi-Fi helps set the time. So it's quite important on the, important on the, on the decode, having the time correct. And thanks for the station that sent me that message. Let's click scroll and see if that just, does that just stop this? Let's just leave it and see what happens. Everything seems to be refilling there. BT, we haven't tried that one yet, but we will try beat uh, Bluetooth. But overall, it's you know it's a fun device, inexpensive. Take it anywhere you like. Put a length of wire in your pocket, a thin bit of garden wire, and you'll you'll receive all around the world on this. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, and uh, we're going to be doing some more videos showing the other model, which is the same, but the base station model version of this which I also highly recommend if you get the older model they're like 60 pounds but yeah if you want the one with all the the bells and whistles you do have to pay extra 73 all the best